What's up guys, Brandon here from Gearist. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Aeroloft 800 running vest from Nike. You know, a vest is one of those pieces of clothing that a lot of us, whether it's in our athletic life or our casual life, we have a hard time figuring out when is the right time to wear it. There's this question of, well, I want to keep my body warm, but then are my arms going to be too cold or something like that? And so it was a few years ago that I got my way into my first running vest, and I really, really liked it because my arms, as it turns out, are a great way for me personally to regulate my heat when I run. And since I tend to run pretty warm, it was really a great option for me. So I was really kind of intrigued when I saw that Nike had this to offer and when they sent it over and here's why. Before we get into the ins and outs of comfort, fit, and performance, let's talk about how the Aeroloft 800 vest is put together and the materials that do it. The main fabric of the body is made from a really fine, just very small square, very soft ripstop fabric which has a nice DWR or durable water repellent finish over it which is going to help keep some of that moisture away. This fabric makes up the outside but also the inside which once again that DWR finish is going to be very effective those areas. Now, the baffles, which are the lines right here, the baffles are filled with 800 fill down and each is about an inch and a half tall. Now, they, you can see they stop right about here, right about the navel, and then again on the back, they stop right at the small of the back. In between each of these baffles is a small line that is actually perforated. I'll try to bring it up here to the camera. You can see that there are these small little dots or holes cut in each one. Now, those holes are not enough to negate the insulation, but they are enough to allow for a lot of air airflow and moisture management because even when it's cold outside, when you're out there working and running, you do put off some sweat, believe me. Apart from this section down here and this section down here being free from insulation, the sides and the tops of the shoulders are as well. Now the sides, this part of the side right here, is a single layer of that same mesh that we see on the main body and interior of the, the vest. But around the arm's eye, which is this right here, and then on top of the vest, on top of the shoulder, and then around the collar, we see a nice layer of dry fit mesh. These areas it's a little bit stretchy so it's gonna have some give and those are the areas where if we're running you're really gonna need that kind of give so they're very well placed I've got to say that the fabric choices on this thing are a large part of what makes it such a lightweight vest with my men's size large coming in at 6.3 ounces from an insulation perspective there's 800 fill goose down inside these baffles and I have to say that when running I felt very very comfortable in it Though, to be fair, in anything like this, much of the way that you feel is going to also depend on what you've got underneath it. So it's really dependent upon your taste and what other gear you've got on. Probably one of the smartest things that I found on this were those little perforations in between the baffles. While some might find them unnecessary, I feel like the moisture management and the airflow management, just kind of keeping fresh air going, that was a really smart thing to do. And it doesn't let you overheat, especially if you're in that kind of temperature gray area where it's a little warm, you're like not sure if you want a vest or not, but you might get colder later or the sun's going down. These do a really nice job kind of keeping the air moving. Now the reflective elements, if you're wearing this during the short days in the winter, the reflective elements are this swoosh right here and then on the back, the only pocket has this outline of reflective material. Now this pocket serves as a great place for keys or a phone or something like that, but it is also a stuff sack for the vest itself. And when it is in its stuff sack, which you can see here, it's got this little elastic stretch band back here, which is also made of dry fit mesh, which makes it able to be kind of stuck to your hand so if you want to take it off mid run you can run and not have to worry about holding on to it too tight which is a really smart intelligent and nice feature to have from a performance aspect I touched on this a little bit above but I really like the weight of this and finding the right piece of gear to wear underneath it is essential so when I wore this a couple times I think I had a merino wool base layer or something that was really thin another time I had a pearl Azumi, uh, kind of insulating base layer again these seem to tend to be the things that I really like to wear under it nice and lightweight and body fitting. I do like the low collar on this. Now I'll try it on again in a second, but you may have seen earlier, it only comes up to about here. But if you're someone who likes to have a neck warmer, a buff or a neck gaiter, something like that, it means you're going to have to wear one of those as well because some vests have high collar. This is not one of those. Now initially I thought the decision to leave the baffles or the insulation out of the bottom kind of quarter or third of the vest on the back and the front was a very interesting decision. I'm not sure why they did it. However, when I put it on, what I did did notice was as my sweat kind of ran down to that area to the belly and the navel area I noticed that that was probably 
one of the places I would have wanted cooled off. Now, that being said, it was a little bit cooler. So if you're very sensitive to that, just be aware of that. It's not so cool as to be uncomfortable because this outer mesh does create a nice windbreak layer, but just know that there's no insulation down here in this area. But again, that's where we tend to carry fat and things like that. They're gonna keep those areas generally warmer. Now let's talk about the fit of the Airloft 800 vest. The first thing that I'd point out is that this is meant to fit close to the body. It is not meant to be a big puffy vest or anything like that. On first putting this vest on and pretty much every time thereafter, it was clear that this does not fit as large as you might expect in a large size vest. It's not tight or constrictive, but it definitely fits much more close to the body. So if you're concerned about that, if you've got a few extra pounds out this way over the holidays or something like that, just be aware that it's going to press against you. It's not going to like really hammer down on most people. People, but it does fit more closely than most size larges and that is certainly by design thanks to the body of the vest itself and these stretchy dry fit mesh parts around the arms eye and on top of the shoulders it moves very very well with the body and in fact for a down vest it has a very racer fit and just feels really nice and makes you feel kind of quick when you're going you can also see that from the side it's got kind of a narrow profile it's nice fit but again not that billowy area that you would expect to see in a large vest I also think this would be a good vest for a lot of cyclists because you've got that down especially kind of on the front where you're gonna take the brunt of the wind and then down here you've got a little bit which you can't really see a little bit of a drop tail which is going to kind of cover your butt if you're down in your drops or what have you and apart from running and maybe cycling this is also certainly a good vest for like Nordic skiing or some backcountry snowshoeing or something like that when you need a little bit of a down insulating piece under shell or something but maybe that shell is gonna come off at some point we start working harder really the only knock that I have for this piece and it's an interesting interesting one is the price. Now, I will say that this vest is very, very flexible and can be used in a lot of different situations. However, $180 is a tough pill to swallow. I will say, again, that it's a very durable piece. It's very well constructed, but $180 is kind of up there. We did find it, if you check the buy links down in the description, we did find it for less, so definitely check those out. The Airloft 800 vest from Nike is definitely a solid investment, and it's certainly an investment. While the price is high, that flexibility is going to allow you to wear it for a very long time in a very large number of situations. The fit is sleek, it moves well with the body, and when you put it on and you're running, it pretty much disappears on you. It's a really great vest that I think a lot of runners out there would really like a lot. Before we get to our question of the day, guys, don't forget to like and favorite this video and subscribe to our channel. We've only got a few days before the end of 2015 and we'd love to get our numbers up there. Thank you guys. And now here's the question of the day. Have you ever used a running vest? If you have, let's hear it down in the comment section below. And if not, tell us why. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to spend with us today. If you've got any questions at all for Ask Gearist or for us in general, don't hesitate to leave a message either on our comments down below or by emailing info at gearist.com. As always, you can find us on all our social media outlets, which are right over here. And subscribe to this channel, please, and thank you. Guys, thanks so much, and we will see you next time.